Welcome back to another episode of Welcome to... I'm just gonna call this Irumakun from now. I can't say welcome back to Welcome to Udumusuko. Welcome to another episode of Irumakun. And last time I thought we were gonna get some Eiko stuff because previous episode kind of alluded to that Eiko and uh, Eiko and uh, Iruma is gonna be like the main pair, I guess, the main ship. But no, we get Clara and Clara is just speed and Fetamine's crack personified. She's just go, 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 go. And all of, and her best, not, not her best quality, but one of the funniest, one of the most interesting quality about her is her secret, like sacred family pouch. You tap it twice, you get a bunch of snacks. But here's the thing about her. Even Asmodeus kind of alludes in the beginning that people try to like stay to stay away from her because of how crazy and hyper she is. Iruma, of course, can't do anything because when she says, please play with me, right, he's going to do everything. And I talk about how his like um, character development, I guess, throughout the seasons is going to might change. I don't know how it's going to change. Will he become a complete Giga Chat that's no longer a pushover? Or will he retain his pacifist... Uh, that kind of mild manner, but also compromising a little bit of that, but knowing when to stand up for himself. I don't think it'd be right to do a complete 180, but I feel like in order to be a Demon King, you can't just be a pushover, right? Or maybe just continue with this and it's just a running gag. I'm not sure. Clara, for a second, this shit got so emotional out of nowhere, because some of the people, they're only playing with Clara for her snacks, and that's it. And Clara feels like she has to give people more snacks if they want to be there for her again. It's like... <laughs> This poor girl, man. I'm, I actually got emotional. I started to tear up just a bit out of fucking nowhere. I'm like, this is supposed to be just a happy, you know, just a happy pure shonen kind of anime. It's like, no. I mean, those elements can definitely exist in shonen, right? I'm glad that Clara... But the one of the most saddest thing is Clara overheard them talking about her. And she said, I know. And that was like, I know about how other people were just... Just kind of acting like they're playing with her just for the snacks, right? It's so cruel. But Iruma helps Claire realize that it's not just about the snacks. They're great, but I'll play with you regardless of that. And at that moment, Clara has like a little scene where it feels like she does fall for Iruma. So I guess in typical shonen uh, series, we're gonna get a harem forming. Maybe Clara seems to be the focus immediately, but, but I feel like Eiko's gonna come back and have another like her own little story that's gonna be even better. There's no way that they lead off with Clara without the intent of making her the first, like, the, the, the best girl, right? I feel like Eiko's gonna come in, like, a semi-truck after all the other characters might have been fleshed out just a bit, right? Kind of want to see Lashes, too, because all she does is <laughs> do that and make a condescending remark, but I fucking love it how confident she is in. Clara actually does a road roller. So after that, we also get a scene of how the school kind of runs more, because we're not even... There's ranks in the system. In previous episode, we said the familiar might determine your rank as a demon. But that's not all, I guess. I'm not completely sure. Because the ranking still system hasn't been done yet. Neither have the classes been made. And the cafeteria menu, is there's tiers. So it's kind of like a meritocracy where it's like the rank determines how good of a life you can have at school. Iruma is obviously going to be top rank, I would imagine. It's his familiar is one of the teachers. It's Caligo, right? There's no way he's not like a top tier rank. I would imagine Asmodeus is also going to be top tier rank. I'm, I'm sure Clara will probably join in with us. Because at the end of the episode, Sullivan has a scene where in the council and I guess they're deciding which classes everyone's going to be. I, this like this this episode that we're going to watch today is called like the Misfit class or something. The class of Misfits. So it's just going to be a ragtag team of all the weirdos. That's, that's probably really special because they're weirdos, right? Especially the guy that took out the teacher with an axe. And also another two people that were kind of laughing or smiling when Iruma was like a smile. When Iruma was canceling the uh, the forbidden spell and everybody was shocked. Those, there was like a blonde guy and there's another guy named Jazz that was just kind of just like sick, right? So very interesting dynamic. I wonder what many, what kind of new people we're going to meet. But let's watch the episode. Who are all the misfits? I know a couple key players, but Asmodeus is in. Clara too, probably. Clara can taste night air and morning air differently. Is this a, something... Is she just being crazy or is there something more to it? Like her, I don't know, her abilities and who she is as a demon. Connor Murph. Connor Murph. Connor Murph. But can you fly me instead? Yes. Every demon can fly. I talked about this. We don't have the wings yet. Could it be that you're a human? Strengthen your legs, yes. So I guess this is gonna be the start of some running gags where they try to guess like why Iruma can't do some things that demons can, but it's gonna be misinterpreted as something else entirely. 
Okay. Whoa, the middle class looks the coolest, right? Top middle, it's like, holy shit. It's got like a plaque and everything. There you go. Not in you with Cliff! Bro, what's what's going on with Aiko? That's where our class is? Not in the school? We're in a cave? Oh, she just said Waku Waku like uh Oh no, I forgot her name for Spike's family already! Jesus Christ! That's so bad. It's it's been like a couple months. Come on, guys. Anya! Of course, that's Anya. Hmm? Is Sullivan gonna teach us directly? I wonder. This danger. Why is it kind of look? Is the classroom nice? There's just traps. He can dodge everything immediately. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But if anyone else, they would have just died, wouldn't they? <laughs> it's crazy that he can just dodge everything. Infinite defense. I wonder what we're going to do with the lack of attack power. Because sooner or later, we will have to figure out how he will do that. Well, he can parry. He can basically use... What is her design? Are you sure this is a high school student? She's way too developed. You're the only meaning previous students as a die. <laughs> Who caught all? Who caught it? Is it the axe guy? Is that him? Is there? That's him. <laughs> I'm not touching this. this guy. This guy, I'm one of them. I'm most interested in this. Not most, but he's very interested. Sab no sab. Wow, he has ambitions to be the Demon King. He's declaring it. This guy has main character energy all over him. Dude. I wonder if he's going to be a very good friend of ours. Probably. Why has the throne been vacant though? Who was the previous dem Demon King? Yod first? What's Yod? Is that the Demon King title? Or is Yod the... What's a Yod? Yeah, why do you talk like that? Thou oh, he talks in like a medieval meaning way, kind of, I guess. Yodu is the highest demon rank. So more demon ranks. There we go. Yodu had design while he... There's too many! Hey. Ooh. Alice against Sabna. Mm. A Gorgon snake has his... But we summon Kaliko. <laughs> What's yours? Oh, he has some kind of... A Kelby. Interesting. It has more legs than you, so it... <laughs> I like his reasoning. This guy's pretty fun. He's clever. <laughs> Sounds like lovers. Jesus, I'm not sure if friends go that far, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> Seven knock, it's too much for us. <laughs> Who's the teacher? Karago? Silence. Oh, he just catch. He just blocks it all. Well, the teacher is our familiar, so what does that make Iruma then, huh? Eggies? <laughs> Some kind of test? Okay, familiar and the ranking of this. Can you use your familiar to help you out in this race? Can people fly though? Or is this part of the rule? <laughs> Alright, it's just from our pounds. I'm like, where did she get the goggles, I mean, binoculars from, right? Clara, you can't fight it. <laughs> Clara really likes uh, Mr. Mountain. You can't fly. That's cheating, isn't it? I feel like they're gonna be like, no flying allowed. Oh, uh, I guess. Oh, it's a flying race. We're fucked. Uh, uh, we don't have flight though. Oh shit, Eden was gonna become last place. Summon Karago and make him fly for you. But he can't jump there either. What's he gonna do? Ah! Hey! Karago, come! He can't survive this. Wait, wait, wait. He's gonna have to summon Karago right now. He can't survive. The shy guy, the sleepy guy, and the gamer, they don't care at all. That's a trap. You're not supposed to go. <laughs> hey, here you go. Ladies, may I fly by? Oh, he's not very shy. Wait. Stop! <laughs> what Would you say he's a complete muscle chest? Gotcha. My passion is safe. 
He's a complete creep. I got it. Got it. He's pretty funny, though. A little bit aggressive. I thought he'd be really shy and nervous, but he's just straight on your face. He steals everything. This guy just steals everything. And that's the samurai guy, right? He has the gozaru desu. Iruma is not going to be able to do this, so he literally can't fly, and this is not a running course. Unless he's actually running, which would be insane, but how did he survive the fall? Yo, <laughs> ignore the plants and run, but okay. Gorgon Snake. Wipe out the entire race of this plant species. I want to see Sabrok's... Uh... Clara, were you just on Asmodeus? This is what Iruma should have done. <laughs> Smart girl. Smart girl. Iruma should have done this, though. Where's Yuruma at? Did you catch him? And then... Zabrok. There he is. Where is he going? What? Azaz, faster! Faster, faster, Azaz! <laughs> oh, we're tank. Clara is just a bundle of joy, man. She is. It might get annoying at times, but honestly, if it's for Clara, why not, right? Where is this voice actor from? It is very like macho and man like Jotaro, like Karago's voice actor, but have I heard him some somewhere too? Mm. Can't recognize him immediately. Alright. Military rule as Demon King. Mil this guy has some crazy ambitions though. I, I think he just got defeated by Cutthroat Valley though. He's a... This guy has some big ambition. No, he's, he's just here. Yeah. Oh, he got saved. By, thank you, saving. Curious demons. And others taking him to the finish line. At this at this rate, if everyone else is fucking around, he might finish pretty pretty early compared to everyone else. Huh? Eh, 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 someone's gonna catch him again, right? Who? Who this time? Not gonna show us. Adzaz, we're trapped. Clara, are you trapped in the plant? Clara's trapped in the plant! <laughs> She's giving up! Dude, Clara thought me see. Clara seems are actually so funny and they're just so fast and high paced, right? Adzaz, save Clara! Thank you. God, he's so cool. Uh, I'm bang, Adzaz. <laughs> oh, Clara. But. Uh, landed in probably the nest of the magical beast or something? Watch. Uh, skulls of demons. Magical beast. Hello. Magical beast is pretty cute, though. It's another big chicken. Summon Caligo right now. Summon. Summon familiar. You have to clap. Uh? No? Are you... What? What? Oh, you're injured. Can you heal, though? Are you gonna hurt yourself? Ah! To prove that... I have an injury too, like you. He's showing I can heal you like my hand. Oh. It's one way to communicate, but wow. He's able to, like, so this is like beyond just like offensive capability, right? Not only is his defense crazy, he can also like empathize with like magical beasts too. Main character quality for sure, right? Your own blood? What's gonna happen if it... Ooh, human blood within... Human blood? That's why demons eat humans. Because they... That's why... Because they recover if they eat humans. Even one drop of blood was able to do that? So... If... In the future, if we get into battles and his teammates are wounded, then he can heal them. So now he has a healing property on top of the defense. So he's going full support route already. Not to mention, well, he can like, do like judo flip and like parries and like counter other people's offense, but he's able to charm people. Now it's. Aww. Wait, is he gonna eat? No, he's not gonna eat you now, right? No, he helped you. Yeah, come on, get us to the finish line, please. The magical beast loves us. But I. This is a demon too, right? I thought maybe he'd wanna eat Edom or something, but. We showed. Yeah, we showed him. Wow, everyone's gonna be like, you tamed the magical beast? Zabrox sent me like the magical beast that was in my way in the cutthroat valley. You were able to tame it? Jesus Christ. We still haven't summoned Kaligo yet. Is this Sabrock right now? <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> he 
<laughs> in a hard way. So <laughs> He's just in his own different anime right now. Just like <laughs> dueling to the fucking death. Oh my god. What are you battling? Another magical beast or... The Guardian, the Cutthroat Valley. Can you beat the Guardian? Are you at your wit's end? No, don't give up! Don't give up! Say something cool like, If I'm gonna die here, then that just means that's as far as I could go. And that's the episode? No, we have Tsukima. Kima! That was a little bit early. Okay, Clara, what's it this time? Sabrock. Clara and Sabrock. I wonder if Clara and Sabrock will become a ship. Because they're kind of hinting that they're getting very friendly immediately. And right now, it's just casual comedic fun. But, I don't know. Clara and Sabrock, maybe? Maybe kind of fun. No spoilers for me. And that's the episode. Another fun, cheerful episode of Irumakun. Man. So, what did we learn this time? Uh, there's more that comes to getting the ranks out, but we're in the Misfits class. All the characters are pretty distinct and unique. We're there's not, there's like the issue with these kind of classroom stuff. Like for example, in My Hero Academia, if there's too many characters. If there's like 20 different characters that we all have to care about, it's really hard to keep track of all of them. But it's, it's a small enough group to the point where we can, I guess, keep tally of each buddy and they don't turn into just random jobbers in the future. So far, who is the most interesting? Sabrock for sure, right? Sabrock's really interesting. Jazz and the gamer guy is kind of interesting. I'm not sure why the like the gray haired girl with the glasses is always pissed off. X, uh, what was her name? The guy, the girl was just wearing miniskirt and she's tall and she's got the thong showing. Yeah, sex sells. I get it. It's a sex appeal, but it's a fucking high school kid. It's a demon. Relax, relax. Respectfully, guys. Ref respectfully. Sabrock and Clara seems to be hitting off quite well. Every, we're going back to this like flying thing though. We don't have wings. Will Iruma ever get wings? I don't know. Maybe at a certain point, all of like, because like not only is the wings, but now like um, the fact that Iruma's blood can heal demons. If these things are shown to the masses later on, they'll figure out quickly that he's human. And I'm sure in the future, like his identity might get revealed, but people will accept him regardless of if he's a human or not. Maybe just a core group of people will, but that's gonna be an interesting, like an interesting problem in the future. Everybody else doesn't seem to really give a shit about the race other than like the front runners, which is Sabrock. And Sabrock is just, this guy, I, from the first episode when he showed up as like the guy that was defeating a teacher, I was all in on this guy. He has the ambition to become a demon king. He's stating it clearly. He's, this guy might as well be the main character. Iruma, I'm sure, like, Iruma is very passive. He doesn't have much ambitions. He's just kind of thrown into this demon world and just living it. And that's completely fine. But Iruma is the main character. He's going to have to have his own resolve or goals or some kind of like... Like something that he's going to dedicate his life to for the future. How will he get pushed into the Demon King role? Will he even become Demon King? Probably. I mean, the intro scene always has him in the throne. And the topic of the Demon Throne being... Demon King throne being absent for 100. What happened? Sullivan, they mentioned in the first episode, the director is going to be apparently the next in line for the Demon King throne. But I doubt that he's going to take the throne. I feel like Iruma, Sullivan wants to push Iruma onto the throne. What's more interesting is that there's an absence of the dad. And you know in these shonen shows, well, it's not actually Iruma's dad, but Sullivan's son, right? And I'm sure he also has a wife. The son has a wife, probably like a mom or something. That, mean, well, that would mean that they have their own kids too. But I guess there isn't a mom because Sullivan directly adopted Iruma because he wanted a grandchild. I guess his, his son wouldn't have a child or something. But usually the, these kind of stories, like the dad or the shonen character's dad, even though he's not directly dad, it's like a stepdad, I guess. They're really important figures that's kind of hidden in shows, right? So was he the previous Demon King and he ran away? He just disappeared? I don't really know. It's, that's going to be additional plot. It's going to be explained in the future, I guess, right? So interesting new classroom that we have. I'm sure everybody will start to respect Iruma in a way. The, so far, they've only seen him just dodge everything in the beginning. But somehow, he's going to... He's I'm, he's pretty much already won everything's hard over, right? The demons are healed by human blood. Huge mechanic. Not only is he defensively capable, he's also now support healing type. Not to say that he can't do offense, because cause he, he can technically parry and he can use opponents like offense against him in like a judo flip kind of style maybe but Eiko what's going on with Eiko she's not even in the same misfit class I feel like Eiko's just being pushed aside to like season two at this rate. Like, what's going on you they fucking teased us in the Tsukima episode and first episode of him also saving Eiko and nothing it's just been Clara which I'm all for it too like Clara is so fun anyways 
if you stick around this long, if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel. If you watch another video, immediately after this one. Helps you to go push on my small channel. I'm going to recommend this. I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys. Take care.